In 2013, the Protection of Personal Information Act, also known as PAPIA, was signed into law. However, it was not until June 2020 that the key provisions of PAPIA officially commenced. These provisions include a 12-month transition or grace period, meaning that organizations will need to be compliant by the 1st of July 2021. The information regulator established by PAPIA has, though, been in office since the 1st of December 2016 and has already begun investigating complaints. The majority of these complaints have related to unsolicited direct marketing, particularly in the banking, insurance and telecommunications sectors. PAPIA is expected to have a significant impact as it will introduce a comprehensive privacy framework with several obligations for organizations. Many of PAPIA's provisions align with international standards. However, there are certain aspects that are more specific to South Africa. For example, unlike most other data protection laws, PAPIA covers both natural and legal persons' data. PAPIA also provides a non-exhaustive, wide-ranging list of examples of personal information, including biometric information, employment history, personal correspondence, personal opinions, pregnancy, mental health, and the language of a person. PAPIA has a broad scope and applies to personal information processing within South Africa, as well as processing outside of South Africa that uses means within South Africa. Important new concepts introduced by PAPIA include information officers, responsible parties, and operators, which are comparable to the concepts of data protection officers, data controllers, and data processors. Most organizations will not only be obliged to appoint an information officer under PAPIA, but also to register them with the information regulator. In addition, PAPIA requires notifications to the regulator in specific circumstances, such as when processing certain categories of children's data or for some international data transfers. Furthermore, PAPIA sets out breach notification obligations and provides the regulator with the power to order a responsible party to publicize the fact of a breach in certain cases. While several obligations in PAPIA will pose challenges for compliance, official guidance is steadily being released. In 2018, the regulator published the PAPIA regulations, which clarify administrative provisions within PAPIA. These regulations include important templates and forms for exercising data subject rights, to issue a code of conduct, and to request consent of a data subject for processing personal information for direct marketing purposes. Furthermore, guidance has been drafted or released on information officer appointments, codes of conduct, and the coronavirus. It's expected that additional guidance and clarifications on PAPIA will continue to be released prior to the end of the grace period in July 2021. To continue researching key compliance requirements in South Africa, use jurisdiction dashboards to quickly access the latest regulatory developments and best practice from leading experts.